Some people don't invite me to, to their functions. They think that in the middle of, of the wedding, I might stand up and maybe undress or something of that sort. So I've suffered stigma. Nobody who suffers from mental illness that does not experience stigma and discrimination. People with mental illnesses, especially in low-income and um, middle-income countries, have not had access to services. You might get one psychiatrist per million people in countries like Uganda, and a hundred times that many psychiatrists in Europe. These inequities are unsupportable. Countries are spending too little money on mental health. If you see the proportion of uh, funds that go within a country's budget to mental health out of the total health budget, it is minuscule. It is 1%, 2%. Picture someone living in an African village. Why should their depression not be treated? Mental health problems, as we understand them, are a developed world issue and that um, people in the developing world don't experience depression or post-traumatic stress in the same way. But we see levels of depression and post-traumatic stress which look exactly like that which we see in the developed world. Challenges Canada has invested $20 million in uh, improving service delivery, increasing access, and addressing stigma in global mental health. The science of mental health care uh, has shown us that there are not only effective treatments for a range of mental health problems, but you can deliver these at very low cost, even in places where there are no mental health specialists. To me, this is a transformative kind of evidence. There are uh, models for shorter uh, therapies which are very applicable to developing countries. Social interventions which can be applied in group setting and they work very well. And what we've been able to show is that community health workers, they're actually effective in mental health care. Next stage is to take this evidence and take it to scale. As people begin to develop relationships and collaborations with folks in other parts of the world, they suddenly get exposed to new ideas and innovations that we, for example, in the United States, haven't come around to using yet. That's probably one of the most exciting things about global mental health.